A quick bonus dose of Frank and Andrew for you in your podcast feed today to announce the release of a brand new radio PD. I can't even speak, Gayla. <laughs> bonus dose of stumbles. <laughs> a brand new Radiopedia course authored by me, Frank. The one and only Dixon. Indeed, indeed. So this is my chest x-ray signs learning pathway where I explore over 50 chest x-ray signs, Gaylord. That's more x-rays than I report in a year, Dixon. <laughs> there could be more than one sign per x-ray. <laughs> and I try to come up with my list of, uh, of my top 10 most useful. Well, I've had a look through... Uh, even though it is hashtag below the clavicles, <laughs> mostly, except for the top of the lungs, which I guess just peak up. And um, right. you, you've done good, Dixon. This is very yeah. engaging. It's really, really good. Both the video commentary, but I particularly liked all the illustrations, the scrollable ones where you superimpose annotations over x-rays and CTs. They're great. Yeah, a lot of work involved in those illustrations, yeah, as you imagine. know. So in addition to the 90 minutes of video teaching, which I recorded in one sitting, Gaylard, mm. I clicked record and then I stopped 98 minutes later. No That's editing. exactly how I do my learning pathways, Dixon. Yeah, right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even stop for a sip of water, which is probably a mistake. <laughs> so anyway, as learners move through the, the learning pathway, there's not only those video tutorials, but there's also like 40 mystery cases for them to look at before they watch the videos. And then there's a set of 30 annotated review cases at the end, which took a lot of time to put together. Yeah, uh, it really shows. But you know what else is very exciting about this, Dixon? That it's all done and I never have to think about chest x-rays again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but no. CME credits. Ah, this yes. is one of our first ever courses to come with AMA, PRA, Category 1, CME credits. Oh, hang on. That's not the correct line. There's no CME in it. It has to be... AMA PRA Category 1 credits. Oh, right. And in fact, strictly speaking, it should be <laughs> AMA PRA Category 1 credit, open bracket, S, close bracket, TM. TM. <laughs> in italics. I don't know how to say something in italics, though. <laughs> I think people can tell by the way you're saying that, that you have spent a lot of time uh, <laughs> oh, getting Radiopedia accredited for these credit open brackets, S, close brackets, TM. lots of paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's very exciting and I'm you know, very, very proud to be able to start awarding people credits for completing Radiopedia courses. Yes, no, it's very good. We've had to do a lot of work on the certificate side of things because mm -hmm. certificates need to have very specific... Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> That's a, a very exciting doorbell at Frank's house. He got a delivery before and it was a whole bunch of sausages. He's uh, something like $200 worth of African spiced sausages. <laughs> He's back. Sorry. <laughs> Another $200 worth of spice sausages. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Um, we had to do a lot of work on certificates because in addition to the fact that you do need to say AMA, PRA, Category 1, credit, mm -hmm. open bracket, S, close bracket, mm -hmm, TM, mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. italics, you can't say that if the person who's doing the course is not a physician. And so right. we had to do all kinds of back-end change to understand whether someone is registered as a physician or not and how many points they're claiming and then create a certificate that's stored on the website. So all of this is changing. Some of it's not finished yet. So if you find that there are different kinds of certificates in your courses page, just bear with us. We are getting there. But it is all very exciting. It is. It is. And as usual, the course is free for Radiopedia All Access Pass holders and for people in 125 lower middle income countries, or you can purchase the course directly yourself for what is a very small fee compared to a lot of other courses that, uh, that have CME credits. And we've already started receiving some amazing feedback about this course. Mm. I think the art of chest X-ray interpretation is, is definitely still 
worth learning. It's a difficult one to master. It's actually quite a difficult one to teach. You know, I did try making a chest X-ray learning pathway many years ago, and it kind of got a bit bogged down. <laughs> and I kind of unlocked it by just focusing on chest X-ray signs, and it kind of allows you to cover a lot of the core concepts as well as some some rarer and more interesting things, and also some fun things along the way. So that really helped me to be able to put this together. There were two uh, diagrams that really stood out for me. One was your scrollable air bronchogram diagram that explains. Oh, yeah how air bronchograms work compared to a normal hilum shadow. That really mm -hmm. is the first time I've seen it shown that way. And it was a very uh, intuitive way of understanding it. I made that in 2015. <laughs> well, <laughs> you were good back then even, Dixon. Yeah. Was that the first time you tried to... Uh... No, that was the first time I did the emergency radiology course for ah, radio. Well, that's a very good yeah. diagram. But the other ones are the one by Vincent Tacco. Mm. who was one of our editors who um, very sadly passed away. And his diagrams, every time I see them, one, it reminds me of him, and two, I'm struck by how how good they are. And yeah. I, I think it also goes to show how every year we have more diagrams and more cases to draw from to create these kind of learning pathways or courses or lectures to find just the perfect one to yeah. teach the thing that you're trying to teach. Exactly. There's hundreds of chest x-rays in this learning pathway. A large number of them are mine, but certainly not the majority. You know, there's a huge number of people who've contributed to this. And I'm very thankful to all of them, particularly to, to Vincent Tadko. And there is a, a bit of a tribute I put at the end of one of the videos mm. to, to Vincent as well. Anyway, we should, um, we should wrap this up and let everyone head out there and enjoy the course. So just visit radiopedia.org slash courses and look for the chest x-ray signs learning pathway. And uh, stay rad, everyone. <laughs> stay rad. Absolutely. And we'll be. Are we allowed to say that at the end of these informal oh, these... little episodes? Yeah, it's a non canon episode. Maybe we're not. Mm. We'll be back uh, with one of our usual traditional podcast episodes very soon. Until then, stay a little bit rad. I guess so. I don't know what to say otherwise. Semi rad. <laughs> stay rad, exclamation mark, in italics. TM. <laughs> TM. <laughs> See you, Frank. Bye. See you later, Dixon. Bye bye. Mm.